switch to a four-day school week is a growing trend in districts across the country. In Bigelow, the East End School District now surveying the community about that idea. Our Rochelle Turner is back from Perry County after talking with the superintendent, parents, and students. Rochelle? Well, Bob and Ashley, good evening to you. Superintendent Lori Egan says they're just trying to think outside the box and do what's best for the district. She's already been in touch with several school leaders in Kirby, Arkansas, who've already implemented a four-day school week. Parents and students have mixed opinions about it. Some say it can help, while others say it's going to make things a lot tougher for parents. East End School District, this is Lori. That's Lori Edgen, and she's been the superintendent for the East End School District for two years. We have approximately 615 students right now. We've lost about 50 students this year with enrollment, um, which is actually one of the reasons we're kind of looking at going to the four-day. Now the district considering looking at transitioning to a four-day week for the new school year, and we asked parents and students what they think. I'm really on the fence about it because of the different family mem family in the community. Um, we've got families that both parents have to work eight to five. I just think that you got to wake up extra early and you just you got to stay there even more longer. The proposal would not include year-around school, but rather a slightly longer school day. Agent says it could help save money, and she's already gotten feedback from other superintendents. They're seeing everything from um, a decrease in student absences to a decrease in faculty absences to an increase in enrollment. You have a whole day where kids that are of the age where they can stay at home by themselves are probably finding something to do. But parents like Holly Johnson still have questions about how it could affect learning. So I'm still a little up in the air, but the research that I've done has not really shown any um, interest in like making the kids go four days on increasing their academics or helping them out with their schoolwork. And Egan says it all comes down to what the district plans to do if the, with the extra day of the proposal goes into effect. Some districts provide enrichment or volunteer opportunities while others don't do much. She's going to keep the survey open for a few more weeks and plans to have a few town hall meetings. Back to you.